Guys, sorry, uh, we had little technical difficulties here after the news. But anyway, we have few, few more minutes to, to end the show. What do you want to say? How do you want to end the show? Well, I just want to share with everybody, those that are uh, breastfeeding, it's very important for them to know the signs and when to feed the baby, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the first two weeks, the baby really doesn't say too much. The mouth is open. The first sign, the mouth is open. When the mouth is open, that means mom has got to start massaging her breast. She always want to massage your breast before you breastfeed, okay? The next sign the baby's hungry is the hand goes in the mouth. And this will be three minutes, it could be three seconds from the time the mouth is open, so mom has got to be ready, okay? And then she brings the baby to the breast. Now when the baby's about two weeks old, what happens is that the baby starts cooing, and the baby talks. Coo, 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 you know, they're making all oh, these little noises. They're saying, Mommy, I'm getting hungry, hurry up and massage, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if mom doesn't hurry up, the hands go in the mouth, and a few seconds later they start crying. Now you don't want to mm -hmm. feed anybody, you don't want to wait till anybody cries, because they don't have the energy to to suck. To suck so it's very important that you look for the cues. Okay. okay? Good. We got a call. Okay. Caller, you're in the air. Yeah, I just want to compliment you on a great show this evening. I've been really nicely done tonight. Thank you. Are you breastfeeding? I'm sorry? Are you breastfeeding? No, no, but I'm watching and <laughs> okay. I really enjoyed the show. No, I was just kidding. <laughs> but go ahead. Sir? Yes, no, that was it. I just wanted to compliment you and your guest tonight. Okay. It's a very nice show. Well, thank, thank you very you so much. much. Yeah, thank you. Okay. You have a great evening. Okay, thank you. thank you. Oh, thank you. I was just kidding with him, but I don't think he got that. <laughs> I'm going to open a factory, by the way, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, so we just want to make sure we feed the baby on cue. Now, remember, the baby can't talk. The only way they can talk is perhaps cry, but before that, you want to catch the cues. Okay. And as the baby gets older, they start cooing and they start talking. And then, while they're cooing, they get louder and louder. And then they start to get frustrated, and then they start crying, okay? So you want to make sure that you catch those cues. You don't want to, it's, it's no good for a baby to cry. When a baby cries, they lose weight. It's not good for the heart. And on top of that, nobody's happy in the house. True. <laughs> so you want to make sure you see on cue. The baby is trusting that the mom is going to read the cues, and then... The babe is trusting that mom is going to read them. Mm. Okay? So they have to read each other's cues. Mom has to make sure that she looks for the cues, and then the baby is giving the cues to the mom, making sure that she sees them. Mm. So it's very important that we feed the baby when the baby needs to be fed. We don't want the baby to cry. I know. Some people say it's good for the lungs, but it really isn't that good for the lungs. It's not good for the baby because the baby loses weight. And I know moms have let the baby cry so long because somebody says, look at the clock, don't look at the cues, mm -hmm. Right. that the babies end up with a hernia. So Ooh. it's not good. It's not good having a <laughs> crying baby in the house. Okay. Sasha, do you have anything else to say? Nope. I no? think we covered everything. Okay. And you all sit ready to go, huh? I'm still going. Huh? <laughs> You're still going. That's good. Uh, um, just make sure. Before we go, can you please give people information of how to get in touch with you? Because you do live in Nambury, and okay. you are certified. Well, all they have to do is look me up on the website, trezelconsulting.com. T-R-E-Z-I-L. Consulting.com, TrezzleConsulting.com. It's on the screen. Um, if um, people need to get in touch with you, they can get in touch with you, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think it's. Thank you very much for being here. Oh, it was and a pleasure I, to be yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's a wonderful, <laughs> it a wonderful show. Evening. Parents should not, moms should not, be scared to feed their kids anywhere. If your employers are allowing people to smoke. They should allow moms to breastfeed. And you should breastfeed anywhere. It's healthy. The kids need to be fed. You should breastfeed anywhere. If anybody looks at you differently, there's something wrong with that person. 
See, something is morally wrong with that person that actually has a problem of a mom nurturing his or her son. That's a problem. And I, I don't know what else to say. Well, I know in Europe they do it. It's a normal thing. Here in the States, the breasts are a sexual symbol. Okay? And 60% of us were born with them. And the other 40%... <laughs> <laughs> are in love with them. Are with them. <laughs> but its purpose is for nurturing. So therefore, you should use it properly. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye bye. See you next week. And next week, we're we going to have a great show because it's going to be a roundtable discussion. And tune in. Okay. Thank you.